<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome. I'm Octo. And I'm Mafugi. And this is Let's Complete Banjo-Kazooie. Yes. And we are gonna- that's right. Very different from our other Let's Plays. We just kind of finish games this time. We're gonna 100% a game for you. And we are gonna try to collect everything to- as, far, as long as it counts for the 100% completion yeah. of that game. Um, this is something that we've been thinking about for a, while, for a little while, and uh, try to find the right game for it. Something that was not too arduous, like an RPG, but not, also not too... Like Final Fantasy X? Yeah, 100% Final Fantasy X would be really hard. Really hard. But uh, yeah, this is a good medium, because this is a, it's a collect a thon. Yeah, and we'll... So it's, I mean, it's what it's here for. Yeah, and we're going to be uh, working on uh, editing st stuff, and, well, you are, Octo. Well, yeah. You're going to edit stuff if you need to edit it uh, for deaths or time or whatever, right? Yep. So, yeah. Uh, we're hoping that this will be a good series, and, that, and that'll be a good proof of concept for 100% game in the future. Yeah. Because well. if you guys like it, we'll keep doing it. Um, and if you don't like it, well, then we won't keep doing it. That's yeah. how the channel works. Well, yeah, I mean, 100% is pretty, it's a pretty good idea, right? So, uh, we don't know how long the episodes are going to be. We're kind of just going to play it by ear. Uh, and if, so some of them might be, like, 10 minutes, some of them might be 30. We don't know yet. Yeah, well. We'll see about that. So where... Oh, it's not explained at all, I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter, but, like, that's her... Okay, Banjo is... Cookie, co cookie is her name. I think so. That's probably gonna say right now. Balls is gonna say. Uh, no, 2D. 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 Right. Not sure why I named her Cookie. Anyway, uh, so, so Banjo is Tui's brother. Yeah. See there, there it is. Where are their parents? Um. Bottles is their dad. Maybe. Gruntilda. Whoa. Right. Quintilda and whatever her her uh, guy is. Probably Igor. Yeah. Go or out. either that, or it's just like, hey, it's a bear and a bird. Deal with it. Yeah, it's like the MST3K uh, on, right? Yeah. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, just repeat to yourself, it's just a show. I should probably just relax. Yep. It's, so, just, it's art. The voice acting seems yeah. art. So you can really feel the emotion. Let's oh, the fear. Be... Well, actually, people um, for a while I've been talking about like maybe Zelda should get voice acting and stuff like that, right? I actually really like the way Zelda does it, where they give you enough of a voice clip to give you an idea of what they sound like, yeah, and then letting you read the rest of it. I kind of like that because that way it's. Because you know how it would be, right? Everyone would be like, oh, voice acting is so bad, right? It's such a... It's a Zelda, right? It's yeah. like, oh, there's no way they could do it right. Yeah. You know? I, I don't This is a good medium. It's a good medium yeah. to have just, like, a sound cue to tell them know how they sound, and yeah. So, yeah, now we know uh, when Banter talks, he goes... <laughs> and then Kazooie's... <laughs> 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 yep. That's, that's how they sound. Exactly. That's a rough Oh, pickles Oh! Well, hold on. Let me just do that real quick. You can, you can, you can cut this part out. Can I? Yeah. Is it kind of funny? Just cut out and go, ah! Uh, uh, and we go, ah! Uh. Hey, we're back! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to skip the tutorial because we're men and we don't need to listen to rules or directions. So, that's how the world works, right? Uh, uh, according to stand-up comedians from the 90s, yeah. 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 Uh... So, uh, well, okay, here's the thing. Uh, another thing about this game. Uh, I hadn't actually played it until, like, a couple months ago. Like, I never played it as a kid. I'm not nostalgic for, about it at all. And I'm super um, nostalgic yeah, for it. Yeah, well, that's you. Um, it's because it's a like, really good game. It's fine. I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good, pretty interesting game. Definitely uh, in the positives. I don't think it's the brilliant game that everyone says it is. Like, you it's and John. It's really Tom. good. Like, it's really good. I just don't think it's... I don't think it's a piece of the resistance, you know? Well, okay, let me put it this way, right? A tour de force. The, the only way you could make this better is by... Banjo-Tooie? Is Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie is so good. Mm. 
So good. You don't even understand. It's the best. I don't really, I guess. Then nuts and bolts is... Well, it's nuts well, and nuts bolts. And bolts. Um, <laughs> it's Well, this game kind of got so popular that it created its own sort of genre. A collect-a-thon the yeah. genre. You know, like... Very few games even even do this anymore. Like, what, what, what games are collect a lot of fawns in the last, last, like, ten years? Like, none. Um, there has to be some. Oh, gosh. Okay, any, 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 like, Metroidvania game. Those are, like, like Axiom Verge. Uh, Axiom Verge. It's a new one. I heard of that one. Looks pretty good. So, so, what, so you mentioned uh, before recording. There's, they're, they're making a Castlevania game, possibly, or not? There, not, not they. There is talks about Cas 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 a Castlevania. Cas Konami is Konami. Yeah, a, a new Castlevania being made by whoever made Castlevania. I, Iga something. Uh, yeah, I can't it's, remember his name. A toy, maybe. Yeah, Iga. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't. remember Anyway, his name. but there's talks about him rebooting. Well, not rebooting, just a different franchise. Like a spiritual successor, like Ukulele, like right? Yeah, yeah, Which is just Banjo Kazooie three. Yeah, let's be honest, right? Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, actually, were we were we online? Uh, when, oh man, you can't let us grab. Well, I don't. I don't. Not yet. I don't need to uh, get that anyway. I know. I just. I'm used to being able to let grab everywhere. Um, were we were we actually on, on the show? Did we were we talking about like um. Uh, Japanese uh, game designers and their ages. No, we did the show. How they're okay. how they're like all young. They're all have like they all drink the from the feminine of youth. Yeah, like Aonuma, the guy who does, who makes the who directs the new, the new Zelda games. He has like gray hair, so you can kind of see like if he's like older, right? Yeah, but, like we pic pictures of like Kojima or like, like Hideo um, Kojima is fifty one. Fifty one. Dude looks like he's like thirty two. Yeah. Pops. Yeah, 51. Get out of here, 50. At Sakurai, Sakurai. is like 49. 49. The guy looks like he's looks 30s. like he's. Guy looked like he just came out of high school. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. He's a baby face. He's a baby face. But how I hope that? I look like that. Well, not uh, exactly like that. But you look like that, that young. That would look very odd because I'm not Asian. But, yeah. Like, I but hope you get, I. You get look, for it. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> I have squinty eyes. It's not my fault. I was born with them. Oh, uh, shut up. Especially, you should see Octo when he really, really laughs. It's not my fault. You can't even see I his actually, eyes. He's blind. Get this. He I, I actually, <laughs> if I laugh really hard, I like super hard. I literally can't see because my cheeks come up so high, and yep. my eyes shut. There you go. It's so crazy. Yep. Um, but. But yeah, like I hope I look like that when I'm 49. Yeah, who else did we look, did we look, did we look up? Eh, it was uh. Uh, we looked up. Did we, did we look, look up Koji Kondo. We didn't. We didn't. We should look no. him up. No, uh, we looked up uh, Miyamoto, we, we, which yeah, Miyamoto, we, Miyamoto looks like he's like 40. Yeah. Uh, I know. We looked up uh, Iwata. Iwata. Yeah. It's Iwata. Just Iwata. Iwata looks like he's like 20. Well, we, like yeah, fresh you, face you, out of college. You, well, you see him. You see him every every Nintendo Direct, right? Yeah. So I uh, don't know at 20. He does. If you look closer on his face, like you can see his wrinkles, wrinkles. But he's a good thirty, I'd say. But no, these people are like fifty. Yeah, you it's know? all that sticky rice, man. The sticky rice. So jiggies are essentially this game's stars. Yeah, uh, that's and there's a hundred of them in the game. That's sort of the anal the uh, anal the analogous to stars. Yeah. So uh, there's one. Ninety nine more to go. Yeah. Can't go that way. Forgot. Now. Yeah, we're gonna be very thorough and. Check each world before we leave, leave the world. Yeah, I don't which is really nice. You can just push pause, and yeah. it comes up with everything. Now, I believe that there's no... there's This game doesn't, doesn't work like uh, Metroid or uh, Castlevania, where... There's something you can't something get? Something you can't get yet. That's how Banjo-Tooie works. Is that how Banjo-Tooie works? Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. Because in Banjo-Tooie, uh, you learn moves in every single world. Mm. Um, I'd Like two or three moves in every single world. And some of those moves are, like, you can break rocks with this. Right. And then it's like, oh, there was, like, a rock in that world that I just, I couldn't find the thing. And there was a rock. I wonder if it's in there. And it is. It's in there. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then this game doesn't happen. It's mostly just, like, you can clear out a world with what you've got. Yeah. Well, I, I mean. I found, at least. I've done, like, two or three worlds. 100%. All right, sorry. It looked like I clipped through that for a second. Um, Banjo-Tooie's overworld is insane. It's so big. So, integrated? What? Is it very integrated? Like, like yeah, this game? it is, yeah. Like, there's a train fast travel system. Wow. Because it's so big. 
So, uh, we're just gonna, like, yeah. kinda go through and play. It's, it's, like, it's not a walkthrough, so we're just gonna, like, grab all the stuff. Seeing as this is a collect a thon game, that's the core mechanic of the genre, is, like, there's just a bunch of doodads and widgets and bananas and puzzle pieces and just to collect everything. And Yep. You know, I, I almost suggested, why don't we start with uh, DK64? But considering how that game has the world record for most things to collect. So that's in a game? Yeah. Uh, it's probably not a good idea. Oh, how, gosh. How can, that, how can that be, though? You know what I mean? Like, like how, how would you classify that? Like, most mandatory I've collectibles? Not, okay, mandatory, maybe. Because, like, I play a lot of games that have lots of collectibles. That's what I. That's what RPGs are. RPGs. RPGs are. Collect this, the game, to me. Like that's what they are. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's only like what a hundred and something weapons, right? And like a hundred pieces of armor or whatever. Uh, you got to think about. Yeah, I guess so. Like you got to think about how like in. I think there's like over a thousand things to collect if you include all the bananas and everything like that in, uh, DK64. Right. So, it's pretty nuts. So, but so. Right. So this this is very much uh, this is very much just a uh, Bob on Battlefield. Yeah, it's of this like game. The, the tutorial world. Yeah. You know? So like, there's Jiggy's just hanging out. There's yeah, and Jinjo's there. just hanging out. Jiggy's that's Jiggy. The Jinjo are like the weird alien creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta rescue them too. Uh, the the beginning of a uh, Banjo Tooie is pretty dark actually. Really? Yeah. Uh, there's a Jinjo King, and he gets he gets turned into uh, hey! hey. He gets turned into uh, a zombie. Zombie. Zombie Jinjo, not even joking. Alright. And then, like, all the Jinjos have been, like, scattered around, across the land, just terrified to, to come back. Because of go, their zombie king. Because of their zombie king. It's, it's pretty cool, actually. Ecombokum. So, uh, we're gonna talk about the Ecombokums here in a, li in a little bit. Uh, because uh, there's some transformation in, in some stuff going on. All right. So here we, we can learn the Talon Trot, which is, like, the only way to run around. That's, like, the game. best way to get around, yeah. It's a, if you've ever... If you watched our live streams uh, of Ratchet & Clank, as yeah. soon as you get the long jump, you know when I'm playing, because I'm just consistently long jumping. Yeah, it's true. Um, no, I didn't read how to... There we go. <laughs> I didn't read how to do it. I didn't read the things. So, as you can see, I guess I'll just explain it once I grab all these uh, musical notes. Are these treble clefts? I, I can never remember what they're called. Uh, whoops. I don't know. I don't know my notes that well. Um, like that that that's was the hardest clef. thing. That's not treble clef at all. It's like a, it's a musical note. Isn't a treble clef a musical note? Yeah, but it's something you, that's in the sidebar. It's oh. a bass clef and treble, and treble clef. Okay. That's a a half note, I think. Okay. I think yeah, I could note. I could never remember those in my music class. So, uh, you can see how important this is because if I'm going as uh, banjo, I just slide. Yep. But I can just run up here, no problem, with the Talon Trot. Yeah. Which also looks really funny, because Kazooie looks really deformed like this. Oh, yeah, it looks ridiculous. Like really long legs. Well, I mean, th this game has incredibly cartoony uh, proportions. Like, so somehow she's bigger than you are. Oh, no, wait, now, now she's small. Yeah. Right? It's just one of those things. So this is the ground pound. You know? It's, it's a 3D platformer, Again, so... One of, it's one of those things that it's like... Well, let's, let's call it this, right? It's like, it's the ground pound. Just call it the ground pound. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> it's like uh, every, you know, sci-fi game or, or movie, right? It's like, oh, they're they're not mechs. They're Gundams. Yeah. They're, they're, it, this is, hey, this is not dollars or pounds. These, these are credits. credits. These are yeah. units. Dollar credits, units. They're not zombies, they're walkers. Zeds. Or Zeds. It's like, just call them zombies. Like. <laughs> yeah, there, it doesn't really bug me in The Walking Dead. It doesn't Dead, matter. It's but, like, like it's, it's, there, it's, there is, there's some where I'm just like, like, State of Decay, they call them Zeds. I'm like, if you're calling it something that starts with a Z or a Z, just call it a zombie. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I guess it doesn't matter. It's just like, it's kind of an odd thing, I think, that, that happens with, with culturally. Like, it's just like, we're... We're afraid to be unoriginal, so we'll just call them something that's, that, that that means that they're different. Like, yeah. if we call them Zeds, then they're not zombies. No. We're being original. Yeah, man. You know? Uh, it's one of those crazy things. There's two right there. There's one right in the eye as well. Yeah. So you can back there, I thought, but there's not. 
Whoops. Get out of here. And then, <laughs> that's what you call it? Yes, yeah, th that's what they say. Ikambokum. No, I get that, but I don't think it's called, they're called that. I'm gonna call them Ikambokums. Okay, but they're not called that. What are they called then? I don't know. Cartoon skull? Call skulls. Ikambokum. Did you learn that how to, how to shoot eggs? No, you didn't. You not yet. Didn't yet. Not yet. Get, get these. So a cool thing about so this game. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Cool thing about this game's control scheme is it's like hold the, the right trigger then the left trigger to start running as Kazooie, but then you don't need to hold the, the left trigger anymore. It is nice, isn't it? It's a yeah. nice touch. Now I know like you're not a shooter guy, so you don't use the triggers a lot in not your game. Especially. So I know like. Your hands get tired when you hold the triggers down. Yes, they do. So, which is like, so foreign to me, because I'm like, if a game uses more face buttons than triggers, I'm like, why? You use X is reload, A is jump. I mean, I swear, after playing Call of Duty with you for like two hours, my hand was aching. It's really funny to me. Like, it wasn't even well, like. Listen, was, e no, I get that, but they're not calling. Eat Look at that. You got Jinjo and then, and then a, a puzzle piece, Jigsaw. Um, but no. What a play game. Like, it's cause, it's, cause, it's cause you have to hold down the button to aim, and it's just like, my hand is not used to doing that. My it's just, hand. it's so, it's so weird to me, cause that, that was just a transition that just came you to just, me. You just, when, I, when you, when you use the target, you have to toggle, so you don't have to hold it. No, you don't! Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. It doesn't hurt your hand as much. Never hurts your hand, man. It does. It tires your hand out. You're, cr you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazier. I have a feeling more people will use use switch. I've I've never hold. I've never ever heard of anyone using hold other than well, I never or heard switch anyone, other than you. I had never heard use use even use hold other than you. So. You kidding? Yeah. Oh no. my gosh. Okay. Yeah, Chimpy, I'll help you. That was a DK sound right there. Oh yeah. Did you hear that? You want to do uh, here? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out which one I jump on first. Uh, yoink! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sucker! You yoinked one. <laughs> oh wow! Even though uh, orange has eyes. Yeah, everything has eyes in this game, man. Maybe. Man, gotta get. Oh man, I love oranges. You know what I love about them? The retina. It's so oh, nice. Gross. I love their lens, the uh, glassy eye lens. I, for one, love. I, the, for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not intentional. Um, well, of course, most bad jokes are unintentional. I, for one, love the uh, viscous uh, fluid in the eye. It's yeah, viscous. it's good. Okay, why is. Why is Kazooie so, um, like, agitated all the time? I don't think she is. I just think that's how she is. She She's grown up playing Call of Duty online. Ah. She's, this is just how she is, okay? But like, she's just like, hi, hi, bottles. Oh, wait, I mean, beetle breath. You know, it's like, it's, all right. So I called for her, I think, but. So, uh, you can poke him. Uh, so, you want to know something cool? What? Banjo Tooie, I, I love this. Banjo Tooie starts with you having all of the skills in Banjo Kazooie, and you don't lose them. That's good. You just gain more. I hated that about every Metroid game where it's like, wow, look how powerful Samus is. Just kidding. And I'm like, ugh. Uh, in the first Mega Man X game, you have to learn the, 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 uh, the uh, dash. But after that first game, every other game just starts with the dash. Because the dash is so important to... Enhancing the game's uh, battle system, I guess. It's kind of odd to, to refer to a platformer as a as having a battle system, so I don't know. Isn't that isn't that isn't that funny? How like it sounds strange to call a platformer uh, to, to, to say that a platformer has a battle system. Of course, it has a battle system. Mario's battle system is really simple: jump on the enemies. Yeah. Except some of them, you can't. You gotta you gotta punch them, or you gotta hammer them. Yeah, or you got a fire flower. Yeah, fire flower them. So, so I do. do uh, does the jigging outside of Mama's Mountain count as the tenth one for Mama's Mountain? No, it counts as one for Gratilla. Right, right, right. Because right, this this one is the other one. Blur. Not even close. Blur. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Octo. There, got it. Missed. Also, uh, missed. Also, uh, 
Banjo Tui has like so many different types of eggs. Yeah, that sounds cool. I haven't played it, but it's nice to have, have that option. Dude, it also has like they're also like, yo, we're rare, so we they have first person shooter segments where Ban Banjo takes Kazooie out of the backpack and like cocks her neck. And it's like, what? what's up? And then it goes into first person, and you, 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 you use Kazooie as a machine gun. Or a grenade launcher, or like a flamethrower. No it's awesome. Way. Yeah. What? It's awesome. That's ridiculous. Why didn't they just stick with the formula with nuts and bolts? Uh, uh, I I'm not sure I if it. it I'm not sure if it was um, rare themselves or if it was corporate commander being like, hey, 3D platformers are dead. Have a racing uh, game. See, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm too quick. Is to, it not to... in here? No, it's not in here. Oh, it's in the anthill, isn't it? Y yeah. Right. Well, no, it can't be. Yeah, wait. It yeah, you can't get to the top of the anthill. No, without the ant transformation. Yeah, but I'm to... pretty sure it's it's in the anthill. Anyway, I, I feel like I'm sometimes too quick to to blame corporate. Blame corporate commander. Um, well, that's why I, I said I'm not sure who it was. Yeah. Because sometimes it's not. Sometimes the devs are just like, I think they want this, and they clearly like, don't. Nope. Yeah. You gum All right. Yeah, you got it. So hopefully, guys, our I mean, the ultimate goal would be like. If you follow this, this guide, or it's not a guide, but it's like if you follow, if you play along, play with, along us. with us, you can get everything. Yeah, you see everything here. Well, that's what I wanted to do, right? Was I, I want Mumbo? Shut up. Um, his name's Mumbo Jumbo, by the way. Is he? Is he's a voodoo guy? Yeah. Uh, in the second game, there's a there's a, a girl named uh, Wumba Mumba. I think her name is. Oh really? And she is like she calls uh, Mumbo out. She's like, "Wow, he's he's just a weak shaman. Don't worry about it." And she transforms you into like crazy stuff. She can transform permanently Kazooie into a dragon. Whoa! That will breathe fire. Permanently. permanently. Yeah. I mean permanently. That, permanently. That's your completion bonus. What? Yeah. Wow. Also, I'm an ant with uh with six legs, and now I have four. That's because you're a termite. Yeah. Oh right, I'm a termite. Whatever. <laughs> but it looks like I have four when I'm walking. Also, this is gross, because bugs are gross. Although, my jumping sound is really cute. I'm I'm alright right with, with uh, crickets, so... Crickets are... D oh, they're so disgusting! They're really not. I think you're... Hey! You got Alright. So those are all those all the, all the, the notes in this, in this world. Yeah. This is usually the last thing you do in this world, is get, get to the top of this mountain. Oop. Yeah, it's the best thing to do. Um, also, because you have to leave the world to, or yeah. yeah, you have to leave the world to, to become Banjo again. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, we're going to try to do this uh, kind of sort of efficiently as possible, but we might for miss, 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 just miss a piece or something, right? Now, what we want to do is not turn back. We're going to leave like this. What? You want to leave the world like this. Yeah. Once you, once you've done everything here, which I think you have. Yep. Uh, let's go in there. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good, that's everything. Wait, did we, get, did, we get, did we even get the, the honeycomb pieces? Uh, there's, I don't think there's any in this world. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, actually, there's, there's one, one right there. there. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, there's only one per world, yeah? Maybe there's two. Two? Because I know, um, it makes a chime whenever you're completely done, the level. Yes. Uh, at least objective-wise. So it made that chime... And just yeah, turn my, I can crawl down here. Uh, if there's two, let me let me just run there, around. There is two. There is for sure. Yeah, there's always there's always two. All right, well let me run around really quick, and uh, find it. I don't know where it is. Do you want to tell me where tell me where it is? Yeah, sure. It's uh, you have to jump up when you when the last segment of the totem pole is still there, and get it that way. Oh, so I have to leave and come back. You might have to, yeah. Yeah, okay, because the totem pole's uh, gone. I forgot about uh, I forgot about the honeycomb pieces. Yep. And while you're out there, we can actually snatch quickly like, snatch the uh, other uh, jiggy, other, other jiggy jiggy on the uh, top of the, the mountain, and you need to be the termite in order to do that. It's if you uh, leave the area, right? Mumbo's magic can only go so far. Uh, yeah, it's a certain vicinity away from the the map, like so you, from the um, the. Warp in. So, so it's, if you it's go, probably if you go, just right, right. Yeah, here, if you go right over here, here, it'll say. Yeah. Yeah. If you go on a little further, it'll, it'll just despawn. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder what happens to Kazooie. 
She's still in your backpack. She just she becomes a termite too. Only smaller. But in your backpack? Yeah. That'd be terrifying. Why? Because it'd be terrifying. But why? It'd be a bug. Too. Yeah, but I mean like it would uh It'd just be terrifying. I don't know. No, terrifying to me. Shut up! Right? I wouldn't want to be a, do you want to be a bug? Well, can I be a cricket? They're beautiful animals, you know. You just shut. I think they, they they make cool sounds. Yeah, but they're gross. They're glassy. If you're, uh, I suck. You know, we know what other animal I think is kind of cool, but for some reason people don't seem to like moths. Moths are cool. They're okay. Yeah, I think they're fine. Okay, stop there. Yeah. And then yeah, and um. All right, that's Mumbo's Mountain completely that's done. That's the entire world done. Whoop. Also, I gotta say, because we must have really strong legs to land with the entire weight of Banjo and be fine. Okay, look at that surface area on our feet. I mean, it's, of course she's got it on the bag. Mm -hmm. And obviously the next place we go is the one way we couldn't go. It's yep. up here to, I think it's the Ice World, right? No, this is no? Treasure Trove Cove. Treasure Trove, right. What is, a uh, how far away is the Ice Level? Is that the third or fourth? Uh... Fourth or something. Yeah, okay. Maybe even fourth or fifth, I think. Yeah, okay, I get it. It's hey, it's the stars. Patience! It's the stars. I get it. You need a certain you amount need of stars patient. to do that. I get it! You, 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 I get you it! Listen. <sighs> if Balls is talking to you. What if I told you, you Bottles? You this guy over what here? If, what if I told you the Bottles died in the second game? <laughs> I wouldn't believe you. Really? Don't leave yet! What? Cause you have to activate the the, the the portrait. I I was gonna do it. Yeah, but you were leaving. Go do it now. Leaving? What are, you, what are you talking about? I wasn't leaving. Okay, sure. Oh my gosh. Uh. I saw you walking away from me. I was gonna go talk to uh, Gruntilda's sister. Well, okay. I mean, you can do that, but it's not very efficient, is it? How dare you? It's my middle name, Octo Efficient. Octo. To what, puss. What's what's your your backup name? Do you have a backup name? I don't when the Octo's name, taken? No. I, what's your RPG name now? Andron. Octo Efficiency. <laughs> Octo Efficiency Andron. Uh alright. So shut up. Shut up. That's what she does. Shut she up. tells you three secrets every time. Shut up. She tells you Actually, we need to What? Uh we need to listen to them, actually. Why? Is there something for that for her for this? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Uh yeah, okay. She's always always three. Yeah, okay. Alright. There's, well, there's a there's a, a thing. A there's a thing, I'll tell you I'll tell you in between episodes. Oh, Speaking okay. of in between episodes, we will end here on Grunty's face. Next time, Treasure Trove Cove. Trove Cove.